Sometimes when you import images into Illustrator, maybe for a CV or maybe for a portfolio, when you print out the item, it has a kind of ghost around it, like a gray mark. This is quite easy to remove using a simple technique. In this case, we're using icons. So I'm going to go here to image trace and just click on that. What it does is it looks at the image, might be a PNG, and it creates a new version. So this is actually a new illustration. It doesn't look any different, but it is actually a new illustration. Now we can go down to different presets and choose different versions here. In our case, black and white logo is perfect. Uh, but if you have a different kind of art, maybe a color logo, then one of these other ones may work very well. Three colors is very good for social media icons. If it doesn't look quite right, you can open up the panel here and just play around with the sliders. And after a while, you'll get quite proficient at just dialing in the way it works. It's very difficult to say exactly what is happening because every single image will have a different setting. There's no universal. In our case, this one is absolutely perfect because it looks identical to before. Do it again with this one over here. You can see this little uh, bounding box. That bounding box is what looks a bit gray when you print it. Image trace, drop down, black and white logo, and there we go. That is going to be perfect. Now, it's, it's really hard to explain this when you're not printing out, but trust me, this is going to look great. And I'm done. Now, when I print this out, I'm not going to have any ghosts, and my image will look great.